banana or apple or me. Hi, it's Bini again. Thanks for watching the video. Today I'd like to share with you a trait which I did and also to talk about exploring into different pairings. So this is a chart on gold versus AUD and uh, one of the things is that after last week on the 6th of August NFP because of the better data so there was a sell in the treasury bonds and then of course followed by a sell in the gold so gold versus AUD also suffered but the nice thing is that uh, based on Tor, the alien watch, we had a sell signal here. That means that our sell signal was somewhere around here and we are able to catch this huge move. The, the wonderful thing about trading into Forex, right, is that uh, whenever there is a high impact news, we do have this kind of explosive movement, especially you have to know uh, which direction to trade, meaning that you have to know, hey, look, this is a sell, right? So in this video, I'm just going to highlight what made me sell into this trade here, which is gold versus Aussie instead of choosing gold versus dollar. Second thing is that, uh, of course, uh, if you are trading into Forex or if you are trading, you hope that you want to enter into here and you hope that you know, for anybody who is doing this video to bring up this trade uh, and not to bring up this trade when it has already moved. So I'll be looking to produce a lot more videos uh, before a trade has moved, hopefully, all right, so that we can look at the trades together. But to do that, please um, subscribe to my channel because I need to reach a certain number to make it efficient, effective. Uh, to produce all these videos. All right, so if you can, please subscribe to my channels right now. This is the Facebook private group for the Alien Room uh, for people who took the course and then they are trained in the Alien Wash. So we place them into the support, which is the Alien Room. Um, we I recorded a video on the third of August at Singapore time five fifty seven to highlight this trade here. Um, well, uh, the idea is that we were obviously waiting for the NFP, but the goal wasn't really moving much. But we saw a bit of a strength coming in with Aussie and Kiwi because of the movement in Aussie and Kiwi. So it makes sense to pair that with the goal versus uh, instead of to pair it with the goal versus dollar. Alright, so you can see that there's a video that I highlighted here which talks about how to trade into this and um, and we had a signal on the uh, 3rd of August for uh, gold versus Aussie. Alright, coming back into gold versus Aussie on the 3rd of August, where's that? So this is the 3rd of August around here. So our sell signal for the gold versus Aussie was at this bar. And I pointed out somewhere around when price was around here, all right, so that uh, we are able to either to get a better price in our trade. Now, um, you can see that it doesn't really move down immediately because we knew that the gold versus Aussie was like gold versus dollar was waiting for the NFP. Um, but there are certain clues to help us um, to manage this trade here. Number one, based on Tor, we were looking for a sell signal and then we have sold that, right? But how do we know that we are wrong, right? To know that we are wrong, then it shouldn't close above all those uh, magenta lines that's been drawn here. So this is very important because uh, when we had we, when we, if we have, let's say, a sell signal, you definitely know where would be the clues for you to exit your trade. That means that for your previous sell to be wrong, right? So we have all these lines being plotted here. Now, what are these lines? This means that there was a previous close below the uh, you know, key levels. And then if there should be, let's say, a counter signal, meaning that we have shorted, right? A counter signal, signal would be for price to close above it then if price is to close above the magenta lines that's listed here, then that means the previous sell signal is not good anymore. That means that price isn't bearish. Now, we, we, we don't see this happening uh, at all during our journey of shutting it down, right? So that uh, becomes a very strong clue to say that gold versus the Aussie is still um, weak. 
Now, more important is that while we had a shot in the gold versus the Aussie, all right, then at the same time, after a while, the gold versus the USD had a sell signal as well. Let's just take a look into gold versus USD. All right, this is the chart of gold versus USD. Um, it's at the horizontal resistance, we saw that. But do you see this red down arrow here, a day before the NFP? So a day before the NFP, the gold versus the USD in turn had a sell signal already. So this gives us a pretty much clue to say that, hey, look, uh, gold could be looking bearish uh, coming the NFP. All right. Of course, then um, the break of the key level at, at the recent support at about 1,790 came during that NFP. So unless that you're trading into NFP and you are chasing the price, then, uh, you know, uh, you, you won't you might not be able to get into this trade, all right? Unless that you're trading into the earlier signal here. All right, so the whole idea of this video sharing is to let you know that if you think that potentially if gold could be bearish, then do explore into the other pairs. So there could be other pairs like the gold versus the Aussie, or even gold versus the yen, or the gold versus the euro that might offer a better signal to gold versus the dollar. Let's go back into gold versus the Aussie. Take a look at this red color thick here. Uh, you, you know, just now when we saw gold versus the dollar, the arrow, which is the red color arrow, right? Uh, which is a sell signal as well. It came only a bar before the actual NFP. But the gold versus the Aussie, it's also red color, but it's a thick. It's also a sell signal. Came um, about uh, one, two, three, three days before the NFP. All right, so um they, they you have a choice not to really trade into the more common pair right as long as if you think that gold could be looking bearish um you know in with the recent data how about gold versus euro so this is gold versus euro it came also a day before the nfp we can see that this down arrow here this is a wash and rinse signal a wash and rinse confirmation from the alien watch indicator now this also came a, a day before the nfp here's gold versus frank again gold versus frank came um you know take a look at this big colors arrow here gold versus frank came also earlier all right uh on the july the 30th so that's earlier than aussie itself all right but definitely much earlier than euro and uh, gold, uh, euro and um, dollar. All right, we have gold versus pound. Gold versus pound also came one day before, same period as uh, where we have the dollar and the euro. So if we go back into Aussie, when the Aussie had a signal, the gold versus franc already had an earlier signal. So we can use this to cross check across the different pads, right? So when, let's say, before the NFP, we, if we start to see that, hey, look, consistently we have gold versus the dollar, gold versus euro, and gold versus pound also coming in with a sell signal, then leads, this leads to a strength and more conviction to hold on our trade. So in fact, I held on this gold versus Aussie until um, about 2,394 this key level here so I actually exited my trade about 2,402 so that's around number 2,400 and of course the uh, profit that uh, I had for this trade was really fantastic because that's a $50 move from uh, I mean estimated from around the entry all right so hope you like this video that means this to sum up we are looking at uh, gold trading, but you don't need to focus really on the more common pair, which is gold versus the dollar. But you can look at different uh, pairings, such as gold versus Aussie, one of my favorite, or to look at the uh, whether all the gold pairs are showing the same signal, which in fact that before the NFP, they were doing that already. So this gives a little bit more conviction, right, to the whole move that gold could be bearish ahead of NFP. Right, should you like to go get into the feed that uh, I have listed also the broker that I'm using, then you can explore a demo account with them. Right, thanks for joining my video and remember to subscribe. Thank you.